So this tire came out of uh, my BMW X5 2002. It's a three liter M54 engine. And uh, I was taking off the manifold and I thought, why not um, rebuild the starter? Cause it's hard to get to, but once the manifold is off, um, it's a good time to do it. So I was lucky. Uh, somebody already replaced the starter on this car and uh, they did something really smart. They put uh, regular bolts um, instead of the of the e-torx bolts that have um, that need a special uh, socket to to remove so this one is a regular one and it's just it's a 10.9 grade metal which is which is what you want on a starter so <clears throat> I'm doing this video just because um, I guess not many people rebuild their starters because it's a laborer's job, um, a little bit involved, though not very, not very hard or complicated. But most people just replace it and don't bother about it. Then again, getting the parts is a little bit tricky for these. Um, so most people will just replace it with a new or rebuilt one. In fact, I found some decent starters for $100 Canadian on Amazon Prime, including shipping, which is next to nothing. So that's why most people won't bother. But um, I was kind of curious to uh, do it myself. And that's why I decided to rebuild it. So first thing, I'm going to remove the... Uh, the, the solenoid, so I'm going to remove the solenoid, I already took off the nut here the, and uh, it has three uh, screws in here. These are uh, regular Phillips screws, so I'll take them out and then I can disconnect the starter solenoid. And be careful not to strip them, so you want to make sure that you put some PB blast or something so that you don't damage the, the top because if you damage those bolts um, what's going to happen is you're going to have to drill them out and you may damage uh, part of the bracket and uh, yeah just extra work so These ones are out. Looks like they had some, I don't know what's the red thing, if it's a thread locker or not, because thread locker usually goes on the thread, but it's out. Now you can just disconnect this wire, take it off. Off comes the solenoid. It's got this little thing. I think the spring went flying. Okay, got the spring back, goes inside. Okay, and uh, this is, there's a lever that um, this thing attaches to, it goes over top. And basically, when this goes, pulls down, to engage your, your transmission, this one pulls forward, so then you can get it over, and so you can see what happens. If I pull on it, it engages. If I push, it disengages, and then I can remove it. I just want to show you what it looks like. It's that thing in the end there. You can get it over. This is what's what is gonna look like. So this solenoid, it's this what makes it the teeth go go oops go in or out, and uh, that's it. So that's uh, the solenoid. Uh, you don't do anything with it. 
uh, you can set it apart and now we can take apart the starter so for this uh, there are two long bolts that go all the way in and so these two they go all the way in and uh, for that you need a seven millimeter socket all right let's take them out kind of rusty but uh i think totally reusable that's another uh, Phillips socket. All right. I think it might be a magnet that's holding it in okay so we got it out and uh, yeah I wanted to show you the brushes that's what I'm concerned about the most they look pretty good you can see those brushes um, they're pretty, there's some life left in them there's some dirt and carbon buildup so I'm just going to take a brake cleaner and clean this out. All right, this comes out. This plate. Then um, something that's holding it in. Mm. Okay, so you got to remove this rubber. Take it out. And now the whole thing comes out. Okay. So you got those gears here. Not bad at all. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, lube here. And it's not even that dirty. So I'm gonna clean it up, of course. This one is a little rusty, but I can, I can probably clean it off with a Scott Bright. A little bit of rust here again that's if you have uh, some kind of uh, sandpaper or a wire wheel you can clean it off the rust is going to be gone so the gears are coming out um, so they're all the same uh, let me just see if um, looks like it doesn't make a diff no it um, so there is a, so this side goes up with that little uh, ring you can see on this side it's got this little in, inner kind of a silver or metal ring on the other side there is no there is no ring so this side goes down and this side is up so take note of that before you take it apart okay so the gears are out so looks like this little thing is holding it from coming off but uh, let me see if I can get this get this out yeah so this worked well I got this little ring off like I said there is a um, little ring on the inside and uh, it's holding this outer ring in place. Now I don't want to put it on the table and heat on it, because then this plastic is gonna it's gonna get damaged. It's higher than the those metal parts sticking out. So okay, a little bit of banging. This thing is out. Uh, very simple. So. Uh, now I can take this this ring off. So notice how like it's actually it's not that tight. 
So this one is just gonna go first, then this one, and then this one goes up. Okay, let's let's take this one off. I know this is gonna kind of open up this ring a bit more than I want to, but okay. So the ring is off. No big deal. It's open. I can squeeze it back together. Okay. So now that we're at this stage, this um, gear comes off. So just don't don't forget the order that you do it in. So this one comes off. This one is here. Uh, now I've taken this ring off that went or under here, and this one is going to be very easy to push in. Push in, and uh, now. I can take this off and now we're pretty much taking apart all the gears and all the gears like they look good to me um very high quality steel um, see it's a uh, Bosch Bosch starter got the serial number here so i know it's a quality part it's gonna work for another 50 years i think so we'll just clean it up yeah this part is fine i'm happy with this now this is the tricky part because you got the brushes here oh now now there is another ring oh this one is easy to take off so this ring, just take it off like this, put it here, boom, a little bit of carbon buildup comes off. And now, whoops, you got all the, okay. So you got all your brushes in a, in a brush holder. So honestly, I've never taken a starter apart. So I don't know if this, um, if these are too worn or not worn enough, uh, I mean, there is no, no such a thing as not worn enough, but if they're still good for uh, for how long? But you see, so they, they basically go inside of this spring. There is a little notch on the back of the, of the brush goes inside and and then you can put it in, but it's going to be tricky to put it back in. This ho brush holder, it just inserts in here. Okay, you, you can slide it in and out. So that's simple. Now, the tricky part is going to be um, to put... Well, now you see that what the springs do, they push them all out. So all they're all pushed out, okay? Um, we're going to have to find a way to hold them and then to, uh, slip them over. This part is pretty clean. Okay. So let me go and, um, uh, clean, clean all these parts. 